Has anybody promised or anything threatened you or coerced you in any way for you to enter into a plea? No. no. All right, Council Eagle, please, part of your plan. Yes, I'd like to direct your attention to June 15th, 2023 and June 22nd, 2003. Did you fail to appear for a probationary instruction? Yes. And additionally, while on probation, you did accrue a new charge, correct? Yes. Satisfied, Your Honor. The court is also satisfied the plea is knowing, voluntary, factually accurate. The court will accept your plea <clears throat> to the probation violations and to plea of guilty based upon your I'm sorry, enter a probation violation based upon your plea of guilty, and that would be technical violations one, two, three, four, and five. And counsel? Your Honor, I saw the recommendation for 60 days jail. I asked that my client get credit for the time that she's been in since December 1st. I'd ask that uh, it run concurrent with the admonishment that she's received from the charge that she just took a plea on. And then furthermore, she did ask that uh, during this time in custody, if possible, she would like the opportunity to be tethered to treatment. Thank you, Judge. All right, Ms. Bojack, did you request um, to be tethered to, treat, to treatment while you've been on bond? Yes, um, just to try to um, have time. I mean, I don't think I personally need treatment, but um, I know that that was something that I asked for when I first got arrested. So um, I'll, I'll do the days. Um, I'll do whatever it takes, but I just... I really just want to uh, get home. Okay, ma'am. Let me ask you a couple questions. Number one, if you don't think you need treatment, why did you ask to go to treatment? Um, I was trying to uh, have like the days made up. I don't know if it. I don't really know. Because <laughs> it. it, it well, maybe Ma'am, you asked for treatment. So why did you ask for treatment? Uh, to jail. I'm sorry? Um, to not have jail time. Oh, that's what I thought. Okay. So, and you don't think you need treatment. Given your given given what's been going on with you the last year, you don't think you need treatment. Honestly, no. I really found myself in here. Um, I've been spending time with myself. Um I don't know. I just I don't feel like I need a, a, a guy or anything. I don't, I don't know. I just I just want to uh, get going. I'm like, well, man, the way you've been going on life, not a great start. How old are you? Twenty five. Twenty five. And now you have three drug related convictions. Three. Your under advisement status is revoked. You had an opportunity to not have your possession charge on your record, and you didn't do a darn thing with probation. Not at all. You just ghosted us. I know. I just, if I get probation this time, I, I, I told myself, like, you know, it would be at least six months. That That's all I would really need to get like clean and uh, you know by summertime I'd be you know working I, I really want to get a car um but aside from the job thing just you know I want to draw and make music and I don't know I just want to do things for myself and I don't I like coffee again. Um, I don't know. Just things I, I've been drinking a lot of water. I, there's just a lot of things I wasn't doing before that like I've been doing since I've been in here. Um, so I haven't. Ma'am, ma'am, ma part part of the part of the concern, right? Is when you get out, how are you going to continue to do stuff, right? That's part of what treatment is, and you don't think you need treatment. So I've, I've been to court seven times. I've been to treatment like seven times. I really, I just, I don't know. I know, I know how to work the program. I know to go to a meeting when I need to. I need, I know there's just different times. I know. So you go through the motion. You go through the motions. So you just go through the motions. You don't really receive what it is that you're getting. I really think I've learned a different way. I've been incarcerated this time, ma'am. Um, it's 
I, I don't know. It's just, it feels different. It feels really different. I'm, I'm curious what you're calling for any probation that you should need to. Like, you judge, know, we're ready to uh, hear the sentencing. Uh, we are ready to proceed, Judge. Okay. Yes, no, man, you're not getting probation. I can tell you that much. The court's going to, on uh, 23405, the court's going to adopt the recommendation, revoke probation, close the case without improvement, $50 probation violation fee, 60 days jail. On 23739, the court's going to adopt the recommendation. Your under advisement status is revoked, your probation is revoked, $50 probation violation fee, 60 days jail. The court will know that that will be served concurrent. Um, and then the court's going to also order on um, 232479, the court's going to order 93 days jail. Credit for your 15 days. That's consecutive with 23739 and 23405. And the court will suspend your fines and costs on, that, on this matter. What? Any questions, counsel? No, Your Honor. Any questions, ma'am? So, uh, how, how many days? Well, 60 on your probation violations plus 93 plus 15. So, that's going to be, I can tell you exactly what that is, ma'am. Is there any way I could do treatment? 138 days. Is there any way I could do treatment? And you you told this court you don't need treatment. Okay, I I I, I uh, no, you just you told this court the only reason you said that is because you don't want to do the jail time. No, that's so not. you can do the jail time. Ma'am, I'll do treatment. I and quite frankly, ma'am, with your um, lengthy warrant status and you're absconding from probation, I'm not sure that you would not abscond from from your treatment provider. Ma'am, I really, I can't, I can't do 130 days. Yeah, you said you didn't need treatment. I do. The problem was, with the problem with the sheriff, the people over. I I need help with housing when I get out of here. I I'm sure that need. I'm sorry. Any help with housing when I leave here? Um. You know, I I have my. Okay, I I need that talking in the background to please stop. Somebody in. My record is a, my court recorders indicated our record is a mess because of all the talking in the background. And what was that, Ms. Bolchak? Hey, I really don't. I I think I need treatment instead. I. Matt, you are very clear. You've been to treatment seven times, and you don't need treatment anymore. No, I I do. You know how to work the program. No, I I I got a little ahead of myself. I. That, that's what I asked for when I first came in, um, because I do have a drug judge potentially. Uh, judge, I know that potentially she might be asking for some sort of mental health treatment, but I understand the stock. It does need to be moved along. So if necessary, uh, we have to have the matter recalled later in the morning to potentially have it reevaluated. But I understand the docket does need to move along, Your Honor. Thank you, Judge. Thank you. Ms. Bolchak, I'm not ordering treatment for you at this point because you stated that you don't need treatment and you only asked for it so that you didn't have to do jail time. Given that and the fact that you had absconded from probation with this court, the court has concerned that you're not going to abscond from treatment. So at this point, 138 days is what you're going to serve, ma'am. We're all done. Thank you. Off the record. Have a good day.